Have you ever wondered what dinosaurs really sound like? Let me take you on a journey back in time, but I have to warn you. This isn't going to be a peaceful nature documentary you might expect. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine this. You're walking through a warm, misty marsh at sunrise, near the end of the age of the dinosaurs. The first light is turning those trees golden, and you can see dragonflies. And get this, they're as long as your arm, skimming across the dark water. The air feels thick, oppressive, and like something is watching you. Then suddenly, boom, this deep, chest rattling sound just thuds through the air, and your heart stops. What you're hearing is a male Tyrannosaurus rex about half a kilometer away, and that sound isn't just an announcement, it's a threat. The vibration hits you first, traveling through the ground and up through your bones before the actual sound reaches your ears. Your body knows, on some primal level, that you're in the presence of something that could end you without a second thought. Now here's what makes it truly terrifying. Fossils can't capture sound, but scientists have pieced together enough clues to know that this wasn't some Hollywood roar. Those large hollow spaces in T-Rex schools? They work like amplifiers, like a giant bass drum built for one purpose to strike fear into everything within miles. The Peter models suggest that when a Tyrannosaurus feels called out, the sound waves were so powerful they could disorient prey, making them stumble, making them easy targets. Imagine feeling that rumble in the chest, knowing that somewhere in the mist, something the size of a city bus is hunting you, and it knows exactly where you are. And the truly horrifying part? These weren't random calls. Low frequency sound travels incredibly far through dense vegetation, which means a T-Rex could track you, communicate with others, and coordinate an attack without ever seeing it coming. That deep renaissance boom you heard? It might have been an answer by another Tyrannosaurus Rex behind you, and another to your left. You're not just facing one apex predator, you might be surrounded by a pack of them, and they're talking to each other about you. But let's just say you somehow managed to escape the Tyrannosaurus territory. You follow the river upstream, your hands shaking, your breath coming in short grass. That's when you hear it. A sound that makes your blood run cold. This deep, mournful foghorn that slides down the scale like a funeral dirt, it's a Proposophilus. Proposophilus? Prop okay, you get it. And that three foot long tube curling from his back of his head isn't just for show. When researchers tested 3D printed models of these crests, they discovered something chilling. The sound is enough to be heard for miles, and it carries a message. You see, duck-billed dinosaurs traveled in massive herds, hundreds sometimes, thousands of individuals. When you hear that haunting call echoing through the mist, you're not just hearing one animal, you're hearing the collection voice of an army. And here's what paleontologists have figured out. These calls weren't just for communication, they were warnings. When a herd of Prolopsophivorus detected a threat, they synchronized calls so they could create a wall of sound so overwhelming it would disorient predators. But if you're the threat they detected, that beautiful haunting song becomes your death knell. Picture this, you're standing in a clearing when suddenly the air fills with that deep, renaissance honking. It starts with one voice, then two, then dozens, then hundreds. The sound builds and builds until it's not just a noise, it's a physical force pressing against your eardrum making your vision blur, making it impossible to think clearly. And somewhere in that, you realize the calls are getting closer. The herd is moving towards you. Each one of these gentle plant eaters weighs several tons and has a beak that can crush your skull like an eggshell. Now imagine you're trying to hide from all this. You crouch in reeds, your heart pounding so loud you're sure every predator for miles can hear it. That's when you notice the silence. The kind of silence that makes your skin crawl because you know something is wrong and then you hear it. It's barely a whisper, but it freezes your blood because you know what it means. A velociraptor. These turkey-sized hunters didn't need to roar. They had something far more terrifying. Intelligence and coordination. Those soft clicks and hisses you're hearing, they're not random sounds, they're a language, a tactical communication symptom that allowed packs to hunt and surround its prey without making a word. While you are focused on the clicking coming from your left, another raptor is already moving into position from behind you. Their soft feathers absorb sound, making them nearly silent, and by the time you realize you're surrounded, it's already too late. But here's what makes the prehistoric world truly nightmarish. It never stopped. 
The soundscape was a constant reminder that you were prey. Imagine the Argentinosaurus, a 70-ton giant sending infrastructure rumbles through the ground that you can feel in your bones, but couldn't quite hear. These communications traveled for miles underground, meaning massive herbivores could coordinate movements across vast distances. You might think you found a safe place to rest, only to feel that ominous vibration and realize you're standing directly in the path of a migrating herd of giants. Even the landscape itself was hostile. Thick forests didn't just absorb high-pitched sounds, they amplified the deep threatening calls of large predators while muffling your own cries for help. Open floodplains turned every sound into an echo, making it possible to tell where danger was coming from. And at night, feathered dinosaurs like the Trudong used whisper communication just loud enough to coordinate attacks, but not too soft for the prey to detect it until the claws were already sinking into flesh. The true tearing farm part is scientists are still discovering just how sophisticated these communication systems were. Recent research suggests that some dinosaurs could produce through sounds below the human range of hearing. A sound that could travel for dozens of miles and cause feeling of unease, disorientation, and panic in other animals. If you had been there, you might have felt constantly on edge without knowing why. Your nervous system responding to threats you couldn't even perceive. Might be more thrilling, but the reality was far more sinister. That famous T-Rex scream in films is designed to make you jump in a theater seat. But a real Tyrannosaurus call was designed to paralyze you with fear, to make you freeze long enough to those massive jaws to close around you. The actual sound of dinosaurs weren't just noises, they were psychological warfare, evolved over millions of years to strike terror into the hearts of prey. So next time you hear a lion like roar in a dinosaur documentary, Remember this, the real sound of prehistoric world were far more subtle and infinitely more terrifying. They were vibrations you felt before you heard. Whispering death sentences in a language you couldn't even understand. And haunting calls that echoed across a landscape where everything was trying to kill you. Though those sounds have faded into stone, and the clues they left behind remind us that we are very lucky to be listening from the safety of our house and not being a part of this extremely dangerous time.